I shocked Joe McHugh to discuss engagement with the Society of Chartered Surveyors of Ireland on the defective block scheme. Four minutes. Gormaig at Lescom Corner, I just felt you rush. Ara and Keta Am, Erin Tavershaw, I guess a while I'm at this goal hugged for you. The Jigris a hen, I guess the chum on the hen. There's some the hunery, I guess Erin Skim Shaw, I guess Kumaila Shin, while I'm a boy is a goal hug and Tara Shinsher, Dara Brain, for you and chum on the foster. So welcome back, Minister, or fourth time on this issue, on a topical issue. Um, I'm just going to make five points and maybe when I come in again I'll be able to um, uh, elaborate on them. Uh, the first point is we need facilitators on the ground uh, in Donegal with immediate effect in terms of getting disseminating information and in terms of uh, f f filling a communica communication gap that exists at the moment which is uh, very very difficult uh, for, for homeowners. They're trying to navigate uh, their way through this torture, and, and it is a torture, and it continues. And I think that's really important. Anne Owens from the Micro Group has been very consistent on this appeal. There were commitments made last summer. Uh, I know the Minister has mentioned that the uh, outreach from uh, the Housing Agency, will, that will, that's an operation. Uh, but people need to see this happening. They need to see people on the ground uh, with immediate effect. Second thing. Uh, and I was delighted to hear the comment of your colleague, uh, Minister Smith, in relation to the retrofit scheme. And I know we've talked, at it, talked about this uh, off campus as well. Um, the retrofit scheme, while welcoming it and to be assimilating into the MICA scheme, it's really, really, really important that we don't add another layer of bureaucracy uh, to what is already a quagmire and in some people's eyes an, an impossibility to, to peddle their way through this scheme. So it's, if, if the retrofit scheme is going to be done in unison, let, let's do that. Let's, let's work it into it that it's not a, an extra <coughs> um, uh, agency or an extra department uh, trying to look for different rules and criteria. This has to be part of the, the one scheme. Uh, third point I want to raise is uh, the homeowners who have paid the engineering fees and the last time I was here I mentioned the mother and da daughter in Donegal who have taken out a bank loan of €12,000 from the credit union. That is a lot of money. The mother is not earning, she's on a pension, the daughter is a carer, so they don't have money to be paying back this finance of twelve grand. <coughs> so basically that money has to be paid back as a, as a matter of urgency. The 17% holding back on the payment, that is too high. <coughs> In fact, some people believe that it's actually as high as 25%. That has to be reduced. Uh, I know there's conversations going on to that effect as well. So it's really important that, that that is addressed as a matter of priority as well. And the point and subject matter uh, of raising this tonight in relation to the SCSI, I think the department made a... a an error in what they did over two weeks ago in drawing up a terms of reference uh, in consultation with the SASI and not including the homeowner's uh, voice. It was, a, it was a mistake. It has eroded um, a confidence in a process that is already at a very vulnerable level, uh, but it really, really has got uh, the homeowner's backs up that they, they weren't part of that as well. Now, I know this has been addressed in terms of trying to uh, have a better uh, stakeholder representation, but the real danger here is that the SCSI feeding into the department in terms of terms of reference, is that uh, door closed or is it ajar for the homeowners who are meeting with the SCSI incidentally today? Uh, can they still have their voice heard and be part of that terms of reference? So, Shane Fahonya and I'm sure I'll go to Bema Jarash and the Ragrahe. Gormag, got to ask you, August Session, Chakta, Lishan Kesht. I know we have discussed this and, and I'll try and address, uh, if not all of the issues, some of the issues you've raised, uh, Jeopardy, in relation to this and perhaps in closing, uh, just in, specifically in relation to the, um, the retrofit part of it. Uh, and again, just to thank you for consistently raising this issue on behalf of your constituents. I think it is, uh, like you said, uh, critically that we get this right for, for the, the communities that are affected by this. Uh, Minister O'Brien brought a memorandum to, of, to government on an enhanced defective concrete block scheme uh, on the 30th of November 2021. And it included an unprecedented suite of improvements to the current scheme, 
which removed the financial barrier to the scheme entry by simplifying and streamlining the application process. Increases in the grants available from 90 to 100 per cent of allowable costs and the maximum grant level from €247,500 to €420,000. Provides for a second grant in, cer in certain circumstances, introduces an independent appeals process and strengthens the certificate of remediation available to homeowners. Government approved the, the enhanced scheme, which is estimated to come in at around €2.2 billion. Euro. The revised grant calculation methodology will be based on the size of existing home using a cost per square metre. Up-to-date construction costs are an important consideration in that regard, and accordingly, the Society of Chartered Surveyors of Ireland have agreed to pr produce a report on the up-to-date construction costs for the type of remediation works carried out under the scheme on a variety of home types under the DCP scheme. The SCSI will be in independent in their work, but in the interests of fairness, have engaged with the Department on the matter and have agreed to hear a submission from homeowners on construction costs in the North West. I think that's relates to the last point that you made to me. The specific grant rates uh, will be implemented and will be set by the Department after the SCSI provide their independent advice. Construction costs within the SCSI report will be reviewed annually to reflect construction cost changes, and they are changing rapidly, as we, we're all aware. In relation to implementation of the enhanced scheme, Minister O'Brien has recently written to the PRO of the MICA Action Group on these matters, updating him on work undertaken to date in regard to implementation of the enhanced scheme. It is important that homeowners have the opportunity to engage on implementation of the scheme, and in this regard, John O'Connor, the former Chief Executive Officer of the Housing Agency, has recently been appointed to act as a liaison between the homeowners and the Department and its expert group on implementation of the enhanced scheme. Minister O'Brien fully understands the level of anxiety and apprehension around the scheme given the scale involved and the homeowners' experiences of the devastation caused by the defective concrete blocks. And I just want to reiterate on behalf of Minister O'Brien his commitment to urgently build a grant scheme which is fit for purpose with grant rates based on the independent work of the SCSI that covers the real costs involved. And again, I'll try and come back in on the, on the reply on some of the other issues you've raised. Um, th thanks very much, Minister. And uh, look, that, that response is consistent with uh, the information that the Minister has been sending on, on to me as well. And to go back and focus in on to two elements, um, independence is used uh, a number of times in this answer. Uh, that independence has been somewhat tarnished in terms of what's happened in the last two weeks. So it's very, very important uh, that whatever uh, submission that the homeowners make, that that is not just seen as a, uh, as, as, as a listening exercise, but also if they have something to uh, contribute, that that, ha that has to be done in a very proactive way. And I think, you know, going back to 2014, when Potty Coffee and myself sat in the room with officials from the Department of Environment at the time, there's been so many false dawns, there's been so many time frames, uh, there's been so many um, months mentioned, there's been, you know, next few weeks this will be done, that will be done. We're all coming out of lockdown, we've all spent two years in lockdown uh, in our homes and people who are fortunate enough to have homes and houses to be in. Michael homeowners have spent two years in their houses that are falling down. They need, they need a time frame that is honest and upfront. And I know the Minister has said in a response to me that this is going to be completed in the spring, at the end of the spring, for the legislation to go through. I know the Attorney General and his team are working really hard on this. I know they are making it a priority. They're meeting twice a week. But it's really important that whatever time frame we give, that we stick to it and it doesn't drag on. Uh, in the old Gaelic cal calendar, spring started in Ireland on the 1st of February. In the Northern Hemisphere, it's argued the spring starts on the 1st of March. So we need to be very careful about throwing out timelines that, 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 that are not going to be met or will be met, and that is something I'd ask for as well, uh, Minister Du. But once again, we have to help people navigate their way through this, and I think the most important thing today that needs to happen, people who are owed money from the engineers, costs need to be repaid, Thank you, and lastly, uh, facilitators on the ground as a matter of priority. Thanks, Minister. And, Thanks, Margaret, Minister. Uh, and again, uh, taking on board the points you've made, Deputy, around the independence and, and the, the taking on board of those submissions, the, the um, 
uh, in a proactive way. So we, we will take on board those points and, uh, and specifically around um, owners who've uh, paid um, engineering costs, uh, I think. Uh, so I do, I do think we're moving into the space where we are getting uh, close to a full, um, hopefully, a resolution or moving towards a better resolution. And specifically, you've asked about the retrofit part of it as well. Um, and just a number of specific aspe aspects on the parameters of the scheme, which are important to clarify. Foundations are being considered as part of the NSAI IS465 standard review, and any future changes to that will be integrated into the scheme. The scheme is based on legal advice of a like-for-like -like remediation grant and remedia remediation options will adhere to billing regulations. In respect of home upgrades, I can confirm that homeowners will be eligible for the newly revised SEI retrofit grants on the same terms and conditions as the homeowners. That was clarified by Minister Smith here earlier on as well. Significant work is underway to make the immediate improvements to the current scheme in parallel for, to legislate and implement for the enhanced scheme. Amendment regulations are being finalised to provide for immediate recoupment to homeowners of engineers' fees, the introduction of allowable costs of work essential to immediate repair works to the home to the value of €5,000, and an increase in the value of stage payments, which can be drawn up before the final grant payment. An expert group has been established to advise Minister O'Brien on technical issues for purposes required in the legislation, for example, damage threshold for entry into the scheme, independent appeals process, second grant conditions, and certificate of remediation. Engagement with and resourcing of local authorities to continue the work current scheme and the housing agency in respect of the role under the enhanced scheme and transition. Lastly, it's important that people assessing the, accessing the grants under the scheme are able to avail of the National Retrofit Scheme in a way that delivers a seamless customer experience. Work is already underway between DH, LGH and DEC to provide a streamlined mechanism, and it's our intention that this will be deployed over the coming months. Thank you very much.